Hi. It is late, but le better late than never, right? The um, my February favorites. Uh, so I guess it's probably February and March favorites, only because <clears throat> most likely I'll be using these products all the way through March as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get started because there are a few of them. Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite that I want to show you first, I mean, they're all major, major favorites for February and this month as well. Yeah, we're like halfway through March, so I think we can be safe and say these are February and March favorites for sure. Um, I got these in February late February, early, early March, like the 1st or 2nd of March, the Nivea Lip Butters. And this one is Raspberry Rose Kiss. This one is Caramel Cream Kiss. And these have won me over. Just, <sighs> it's like, seriously, it's like caramels. Like those little square caramels that you can get that are wrapped in the clear plastic. It's an exact smell. Exact. Um, this one I keep beside my bed and I put it on every single night. Um, I used to use Burt's Bees, just the um, uh, regular Burt's Bees, the little wind-up uh, lip balm. And I still love that one, but this, <laughs> please, I'm a girl. I like caramel. So this one smells exactly what it is. It's a uh, raspberry rose kiss and it, the amount in these things is just like seriously look. It's amazing. And I, I really, oops, I really like the EOS lip balms, lip butters, whatever they are, but these have totally won me over. If you don't have these yet, seriously go and get them. These are my like, you know, <laughs> fireworks going off kind of thing. I love these. If I had to leave ho the house with nothing else and I could only grab two things or one thing, it would be one of these or both of these. Seriously. I'd rather go completely without any makeup than go without those now. Yes, I'm that obsessed. <laughs> My next favorite, favorite, favorite has been my Prada candy that um, I uh, was sent by my girlfriend Barbara who uh, watches my videos here. Barbara, thank you so much. You know I love this stuff. It um, I use it every single day and I think you guys can tell. I went through um, a big bottle of it this past year and I, I just, I love Prada to begin with. I love their bags. I don't own any of them, but um, they're just classic, you know, and the perfumes are amazing. I, I have, I've never owned another perfume, but I did own a Prada scarf at one point, Prada gloves at another point or together. Uh, that They lasted me like four or five years, the gloves, and those were a while back. But the perfume, I mean, I would buy more Prada if I had more money. Hello, I love Prada. Um, but the Prada candy is amazing. It is seriously, you know, I have a little obsession with sweet um, but sophisticated scents. This is a very sweet and very, very sophisticated scent. I love it. It smells like, uh, has undertones of caramel. And you guys know I love caramel. Um, another thing, the concealers that I've been using all month and into March as well. All by Maybelline. Hello Maybelline. You guys totally, totally stepped it up. Gotta love you. Um, I do have two of these. I can't find the other one. I think it's in ivory, but I've been using the neutralizer anyway and haven't really been using the other one just because I was almost out and I figured I'm going to go get another one. Uh, can't find it because, you know, I have, I don't have a lot of storage for my makeup, but I put my stuff in boxes when I'm not using it to just kind of put it out of the way. And that's a bad thing because I've got probably eight boxes all stacked up and it's all got makeup in it that I could be using. Okay, I'm rambling. 
Anyway, um, Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. This stuff works like a charm. I love it. And it is definitely a neutralizer. Right now I've got some eye issues going on um, from an allergy and I put this on and it literally neutralizes all the darkness and yuckiness. So I love, love that. And the two other concealers are the Maybelline Lumi. Um, what are they called again? It's such a long... Oh, uh, Dream Lumi. Maybelline Dream Lumi. It's a very long, drawn-out name. Dream Lumi, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, concealer. And I have the Ivory and the Radiant. The Ivory I use under my eyes. Uh, not today because I've just got so much crepiness going on there. I just didn't want to put a ton. But I did use the uh, Radiant above my brow, under my brow bone, or on my brow bone, sorry, above my brow and right here just for a little bit of lift. So these two, oh, if you don't have them, go get them. They're seriously amazing. Lisa Lisa D1 actually uh, showed them in one of her videos a while back. And I thought, you know what, Lisa is totally concealer girl, a concealer girl. If she likes them, I'm probably going to like them. So I went and got them, and of course she was right. Um, foundations, sorry if I'm talking fast, guys. I'm just trying to get through this. Foundations, I'm going to go real quick. Um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. I'm in NC35. Doesn't have a pump. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Deb, I think her name is. Oh, God, I hope I'm right. Anyway, um, she said she uses this as well, but she has a pump. I need to get a pump. It's like $8, Lana. I need it. Um, same is funny because the ones that I'm favoriting are without a pump, but it's okay. It doesn't affect the foundation. The other one is the Revlon Nearly Nude. Oh, no. Nearly Naked. Duh. Uh, 180 Medium Beige. Love this very, very much. I kind of switch in between those two foundations. Um, eyeliner when I'm wearing it, which I'm not today. This is just a serious natural face because of my eye aller or skin allergy. Sorry. But the, um, my usual that I'm totally reaching for for the last few months is the Essence Liquid Liner. And this is from my friend Michelle. And I love it. It was like a Christmas gift. Two things that I got in my birch box that I was going to mention. Um, and I did mention, I guess it was my February birch box. And I've mentioned these a few times. Um, I don't think I put them in my favorites because I missed February. So for February and March is the Lancome Hypno Star in uh, 01 Noir Midnight, so Midnight Black. And I love this mascara. It's I don't have a lot of lashes. I don't know if you can see them, but they make me look like I got some, so I like it. Um, love that. Going to get the full size for sure. Uh, and the Joa, 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 the um, I love this. You guys have heard me in the last few videos. This one's in the color Hazel. It, um, I think I need the chamomile because I think this is a tiny bit too dark, but I, I love it. I, I've completely used it. And it's the Matte Moisture Tint SPF 15, oil-free. Love it as a base. Um, my skin regime, if uh, I haven't been using this in the last little while because I've just been using like a salve under my eyes and on my eyelids, if you can see how crepey my skin is, it's like, whoa, look, I could probably pull this out and it'll stay. Yeah, this is all from a cedar allergy, so, mm-hmm, cute. Anyway, but I usually use, before any makeup or concealer, <coughs> Excuse me, a little rattly in there. I use the Truth Art Beauty, and I will be getting the full size of this. Just waiting for some funds to free up in my wallet. <laughs> um, and this is the Face Nourish. It's by Birchbox, and it is um, specifically for Birchbox. They made this for Birchbox. So I got this as a sample, and I take it, put a tiny bit on my fingers, and put it right here where you see all these wrinkles and lines. Yeah. I'm hoping they disappear with this, but it makes my concealer and my foundation go on extremely smooth. I also put it up here on my 11s and my lines there. Um, 
favorite hairspray so far uh, for this month it is the Oscar Blondie Blondie and for last month I can't even remember uh, I wore my hair down a lot I didn't use a ton of hairspray so anything by Michael O'Rourke or um, I can't even remember Michael O'Rourke and yeah that's blank but, you know, that's, that's the one I like for this month. <laughs> so, Oscar Blondie, it was $7.99 at Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, same thing. Hair oil, you guys know, this is like holy grail for me. It's the Aura Fluido, and it is a hair serum. It's um, absolutely amazing. I got this with my points from Birchbox.com. I love, love this. Um, favorite lipstick, of course, I have two. One is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color, which costs $3. Hello. And it is a gorgeous, like, pinky, uh, oh, I was going to say, it's what I have on. No, it's not. Um, it's totally not what I have on. It's this one here. Hopefully you can see it. And it is what I wear on a daily basis just with uh, MAC Chestnut uh, blended out for liner. And this is the other one that uh, is by Kate Hudson. And a lot of it, I love Kate Hudson. Uh, no, not Kate Hudson. I'm sorry. God, I always get these two mixed up. Kate Moss. She's uh, one of the supermodels. She actually, a lot of people, including my oldest sister, says that my daughter, who's 11, is going to look like Kate Moss when she's older. So, go Kate. <laughs> and, yeah, my daughter's pretty beautiful, I must admit. Anyway, <laughs> so, this is by Kate Moss, Rima London, for Rima London. And it is number 11. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a beautiful, beautiful red, and it is a true, true blue-red, gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's one of the very few reds that I can wear. So, uh, for makeup, that is all of my favorites for February and March. Um, I want to show you a couple more things. Well, just, yeah, a couple more things. This is a total favorite. I'm so happy that I got it. I ended up getting it with a coupon and then an in-store um, um, deal, like on the shelf deal kind of thing. It was like so much off and then so much off with the coupon too. I ended up getting the Olay Professional um, Cleanser, Cleansing Tool, and it looks like this. And it's very close to the Clairsonic Mia. It, I mean, it's kind of shaped like it looks like it works similar to it. I don't know about the Mia. I don't know about the Clairsonic. I have wanted to try one. I haven't freed up that much money in my wallet yet. So um, they're about 149 um, to 250 depending on which you get. There's a Clairsonic Original, I think it's called. And then the Clairsonic Mia, which is a cheaper version, smaller version as well. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I think they both come with charging stations, but don't don't quote me on this because I don't know. I don't own them. Um, maybe one day, but for now, this one is doing a really great job on my skin um, for exfoliating. That's what I'm using it for. Uh, I have used it for cleansing as well, but I am just using it for exfoliating for now. This is a sample that I got and I will be getting a full size of this. Birchbox is just killing me with these because I'm loving them. Um, this one is from, or they carry it on Birchbox. It's called Visanti and it is a Brighten Up enzymatic uh, face rejuvenator enriched with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. And this one was 20 grams and it's like uh, about that much left. Not a lot. I've used quite a bit. It's nice. It's just the right amount of exfoliant. It doesn't hurt your skin. doesn't make it sting when you exfoliate and then rinse. Um, and then I slather on, of course, my, uh, sorry, nighttime version of my Burt's Bees. This is my day lotion. My nighttime is in the bathroom. So I just slather this on for winter because my skin gets so dry. Um, that one, oops, so that one as an exfoliator 
and the exfoliating renewal cleanser that came with the tool. Um, I forgot to tell you, I think I paid, or I think I may have already told you, I paid $10 and change for this because uh, it was on sale. So how could I possibly say no, really? So anyway, guys, um, yeah, this has made an amazing change in my skin. Um, it's more even. As the uh, I, I swear some some spots have disappeared, like discolorations and stuff, and I'm my skin's just like that. I have discolorations from when I was in my teens and twenties, from you know a sunburn here or there. I know bad. I don't do it anymore. Anyway, guys, um, those are my February, March favorites. Hope you enjoyed it. It is Friday today. My cold is getting so much better. I'm really happy about that. But I think it has something to do with me being on Benadryl for the last three days for my uh, cedar allergy, which I ended up, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. But thank goodness I nipped it real quick with the Benadryl. So Benadryl's been my best, best friend. And... Um, you can still hear. I've got some cold, but I'm so doped up on Benadryl. It really, you know, you don't notice it. But anyway, guys, um, love you tons, and I will see you very, very soon. Uh, have a wonderful Friday. I'm happy it's Friday, and a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Love you.